Ladies and gentlemen, let me just make sure that we are recording. We are. All right. Um, welcome to episode number two of the Trapped MC season three series. Um, guys, we're in V rank right now, and we have one quest left to complete for uh, like to rank up to W. And that quest is to fish up 30 epic fish. And this quest is going to take quite a bit of time. And, you know, similar to last episode, I don't really have a plan for this series or for this, uh, for just this video in general. I just think that recording myself fishing will make the time go by a little faster. So we're going to record myself fishing until we get the necessary fish that we need. This episode can be a very long time, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and if you want to support me, the best way to support me is to watch this entire video. Because I do need some watch time to stay monetized on this channel. So, if you want to just, if you're on the server, you're mining, and you want to listen to me talk, uh, that's great. You know, I highly encourage you to... Stick around, you know, what else are you gonna do? You're mining, you know, you got you got a lot of mining to do So therefore you should watch me fish uh, Or just have me pulled up and you know, listen to me talk because we got some topics that we can talk about today uh, While I'm fishing because uh, we currently have 11 out of 30 epic fish and so we have 19 more that we need to catch and that's a lot of fish so we're going to be here for some time, but I want to make this episode long because we got, we got fishing to do, you know? So um, if you're here and you're still here, welcome. I'm glad you're enjoying the series. I got some good feedback on the first episode. The average watch time was like seven minutes and 30 seconds, which I was surprised by. Uh, it has like 24 views at the time of me making this video. So like... You know, with those 24 views, the average person stuck around for 7 minutes and 30 seconds. I was really surprised by that. And I think it's because people just, you know, you have the, the video pulled up as you're mining. And you can just listen to me uh, as you mine. And so that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool concept. Uh, it works out because I do need watch time, uh, which is cool. I, I don't... Oh, rain? No. Uh, darn it. I messed that one up. Um, but yeah, I mean, it kind of works out. It can be like a, a podcast slash me just ranting about things. Um, for starters, I've really enjoyed my time, uh, on the server. It's been keeping me busy. Um, as you guys know, I am studying abroad right now and I have, I have a free time. You know, I have some time, uh, some spare time to just spend on something that I enjoy and I've been enjoying prison, you know, the prison server that I'm on. And it's been really cool. There's, you know, so many people that play this server now compared to what it used to be. And it's just so cool to see that uh, a lot of people are just playing and actively enjoying the server. So it's, it's really cool to see. I'm really happy to see the growth. Uh, I told myself when I started playing like this season that I wasn't going to spend any money uh, on ranks or anything. And I still haven't. So like we've, we've been doing this with no rank or anything like that. So, you know, I don't plan on spending any money. Uh, it's been cool. I've been listening to some good audiobooks that talk about money and talk about Christian principles with money. And they've been really good reads and uh, it's been cool to uh, we just caught an epic fish by the way so that's our first one of the video very cool um but yeah i've really been enjoying listening to those books because you know it's taught me like to really um you know like the money that like i have possession of like it's not my money it's god's money and i'm just stewarding the money i'm the manager of the money and you know, I feel like spending money on this prison server is not the best use of of God's money. Um, so 
that doesn't mean you guys shouldn't spend money on the server. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying from my personal standpoint, uh, I think the money will be better spent somewhere else in my life. So, you know, I, I was thinking about buying a wither key or something to support the server, but, um, you know, I think just playing on the server, making videos on the server, you know, that's, that's showing my appreciation for the server itself. So, um, yeah, I don't think I need to spend money on the server. I don't really want to spend money on the server and ultimately that's my choice. So, um, yeah, it's been cool to kind of just listen to audiobooks as I mine on the server. It's been a great opportunity to, to really just like get some good reading in. It's not technically reading cause it's just listening, but it's, it's still books that I'm listening to all the way through. And it's been cool to, to see, um, just how like just multitasking in a way um you know mining and fishing while listening to books it is productive in the sense that i am able to really focus on the the book because mining and fishing it's so straightforward it just requires so little brain power that it's like i can do those things while pretty much fully engaged with the audiobooks now it's interesting because i came across a dilemma because audiobooks, like, you know, I've been listening through Audible, and I spent money on my first audiobook yesterday, and I started listening to this book. It's called Your Money Map by Howard Dayton. Very, very good book. I'm loving it. Just, I'm almost done with it, too. But, obviously, I don't want to be spending money on audiobooks if I don't have to. So, I've been looking at other alternatives, and apparently, if you have a library card... There's this website that you can um, punch your information into and you get access to a bunch of free audiobooks. And I'm really excited for that because I currently don't have a library card, but I will be able to get one when I return back to my home country. And uh, so in the meantime, I'm probably going to spend some money on, on audiobooks, but, uh, you know, it's, it's an investment into myself, um, you know, like books are are good you know they're reading books is good just the knowledge i'm gaining from books really encouraged by the amount of knowledge and insight that i'm gaining from the from the books i'm reading for those of you who don't know i am interested in finance that's what my major is in college and um yeah, I, I'm reading books right now on finance and how to connect those to Christian principles on how to, you know, build wealth and get out of debt and stuff like that. It's really cool stuff. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying the books that I'm reading. So that's kind of how I've been passing the time as I've been fishing and mining and all that good stuff. But yeah, it's it's been... I've really enjoyed my time here on this server. It's been a great way to keep me busy uh, in my free time over here. Because the one thing about studying abroad is it is a long time away from home. It really is. It's a long time away from just everything that I'm familiar with, everything that I've grown up with. And I'm just, I'm on my, I'm on my own over here, but... I do have God in my life, and my relationship with God is uh, has been critical in my journey over here uh, while studying abroad. So I'm really encouraged by that because I frankly don't know what I would do without my relationship with God. Um, like especially on this trip, like I just I would be so lost. I'd be so lost. So yeah, I'm just I'm encouraged by by all that by just how God is working in my life. And it's been really cool. So yeah, that's kind of just a little update on, on what I've been doing to keep myself busy while I mine and while I fish. And yeah, and I've experimented with, obviously on this channel, I've been experimenting with the type of content that I upload. And I still don't know the direction I want to go with the, the content that I'm uploading on this channel. But I thought it would be fun since I'm playing on the prison server anyway to to make a little series and it's obviously no edits, no cuts, just me talking into my my microphone that is connected to my computer. It's not even a real microphone. It's just 
just the default one that's my computer's microphone and you know it's it's like obviously i got the face cam going i think that's pretty funny like it's just it's a low quality series but you know i think it's you know I, there's some aspect of just that whole thing where it's like obviously it's not the highest quality but it's just a little fun series that i'll look back on one day and be like oh yeah like i made that series uh while i was studying abroad and that was cool um you know i've uploaded more than a thousand vi youtube videos to my youtube channel it's kind of crazy uh, now obviously this has been a combination of youtube shorts and like long form videos but still regardless i mean over a thousand uploads it's kind of crazy it's, that's wild we're currently at 4600 subscribers or so and um you know obviously with that many uploads it's like well well bumpy you, you, you should be like up there in the subscriber count a little bit more it's just like hey you know i i've never really like I haven't been focused for consistent consistent enough to make it on YouTube but it's you know I'm just I'm like straight up I'm making like $18 per month from YouTube revenue just from old videos that I've made and those get views there's like three main videos that still get views like to this day like consistently and yeah, I bring in like $18 a month. And so I get paid like twice a year because there's like a, a minimum threshold of like $100 that I need to reach before YouTube like, like pays me. So yeah, I'm making like between 15 and 20 um, per month. So it's cool uh, to see like videos that I've made in the past like pay off uh, in the sense that you know, they're still working for me to this day. But, yeah, I mean, that's just something cool. But, you know, I've, I've done, not to go on a little tangent here, but, you know, I've been trying to figure out, like, okay, what kind of side hustle is, like, designed for me? Like, what am I wired to do? And I've done so many different side hustles, so many different ones. And it's interesting because out of all the side hustles I've done, I mean, I've done so many things. My most recent one was ghostwriting. And, you know, I've done writing on medium.com. I've done Amazon FBA. I tried starting a power washing company briefly. Um, you know, I've tried taking YouTube very seriously. I've created many, many YouTube channels uh, with different niches. And then I tried combining all my niches. And, you know, it's just, I've done so many things uh, when it comes to trying to make money online. And you want to know the biggest thing that I've discovered about myself, like, throughout this whole process of trying to figure out what side hustle is going to be, like, my thing. I've come to the realization that a side hustle just isn't for me because I am, I've never been more excited to go back home and to work a nine to five job. I have a job lined up, really excited about it. Um, and I've never been more excited in my life to work a nine to five. And, you know, it might, it might sound boring, it might sound repetitive, but honestly, the routine of a nine to five, you know, you don't have to worry about anything after five, at least with, in the line of work that I do. It's like, you know, like once I go home, like, I'm, I'm good. I don't have to worry about work, but I'm, I'm just so excited for the nine to five to start up. And yeah, it's it's really it's really interesting because I used to despise the idea of a nine to five. But now it's like I've never been so excited to go home and work. 
And I think it's the finance principles in me that I'm learning about through these audiobooks and that I'm just so excited to just prepare myself financially um, for my my life ahead. You know, it's just really cool. And yeah, I've just never been so excited to go home and work and to go to church on Sundays and just to to get back into the routine because staying busy is good. You know, when, when you have free time, you know, it can be, it can be fun to have free time, but it can also be like, like a lack of drive, a lack of purpose. And one thing I figured out is your active income, like your, your nine to five income is the one you want to focus on because the side hustle, the side hustle is not the primary thing that you're going to be putting your time into. So, you know, if you're putting eight hours a day into a nine to five job, you want to make sure that you're getting compensated fairly. You want to make sure that you're maximizing your compensation. You want to make sure that you are in the right field because that's where you're Putting all your time, well, a lot of your time, like a third of your life is going into uh, just the work itself. And then there's the commute there. And there's the there's the, the times where you're thinking about work outside of work. Like it can consume like half of your life working. And, you know, it's not a bad thing to be consumed by work. But obviously there, there is work-life balance. It is real. It's definitely a real thing. But it's important to make sure you're maximizing your main source of income before really focusing on that side hustle. But for me, man, it's been really interesting because I have realized, like, there's just not a side hustle that I've enjoyed and can see myself sticking to. You know, I, I've realized that I just cannot work from home. I've realized, like, working from home, for me, I just get too distracted. I just can't focus. And that's why I think, for me, it's like a 9 to 5 is, is what I'm wired to do. And, yeah, I just, I think it's cool to, to see the things that I've, I've realized while being abroad and I'm just so appreciative of the life I have back home and the opportunities I have. It's really a blessing. Um, my life, I'm just so blessed and really grateful for my life and the appreciations that I've seen and come to understand uh, because I chose to study abroad. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And I'm encouraged by it. I encourage you to kind of figure out, like, what, what, what's the work? What, what is the passion that, that I'm wired to do? You know, I encourage you to think about that because you're going to spend a lot of your life working. It's important to, you know, make sure you're doing the right work and make sure you're getting paid fairly and make sure that you're you're maximizing your potential in that area before focusing on the side hustle because the side hustle is meant to be on the side and you know it's it's great if you can overtake the side hustle um into your main gig only if that's what you're wired to do for me it's just like if i like my side hustles that i've tried it's just like if i had to do those full time i wouldn't be able to do it just because i'm not wired to do those things um, and that just comes with experience, just trying new things and just trying to, you know, figure out like what, what I want to do, what am I wired to do? And just, it comes with trial and error and man, there's been some, some errors along the way that have been costly financially. But what I can say is God is preparing me to to handle money through the books that I'm reading through the experiences that I've had in the past I am learning and it's it's a really cool thing I can see God working in my life and I'm really encouraged by that 
And for those of you who are not believers and get uncomfortable when I talk about God, um, I don't really know what to say to that because God is a big part of my life and I don't want to hold back on being real with with God and being real about like when I talk about God. So yeah, if, if you're uncomfortable when I talk about God, I, I encourage you to, um, you know, either persevere <laughs> or like just give it some thought or just you don't have to listen. You know, you don't you don't have to watch. Um, but God is a big part of my life and um, I won't I won't um, you know, I, I don't want to limit how much I talk about God because it's the most you know, a relationship with, with Jesus is the most important aspect of my life. And yeah, so when I when I reference God, when I when I say things that you might not agree with in terms of religion, like yeah, I just I hope you're not offended by it, but I'm not gonna change my ways uh, because of fear of offending someone. So yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on that. But guys, in terms of the quest, we are halfway there. We've caught four epic fish. Oh, we just caught one more. So we've caught five epic fish. So we're at 16 out of 30 fish. And I made a pact with you guys that I would I would keep this video going until, until I caught all the fish. So we got a long road ahead because I need to catch these fish eventually. I do. I definitely do. I do have a fish frenzy totem which i will definitely break out here uh, at some point that'll be good it's important that i get this quest done because i want to move on to the w quest i've heard there's a lot of mining quests in w which i'm excited for mining is my, my favorite thing to do and it's my favorite thing to do when i listen to audiobooks and stuff like that uh i can really just zone out on the mining but still be able to mine effectively while listening very intently to the book. So, but yeah, making this video has been fun. It's been a, it's been really cool to lay out my thoughts and just just kind of be real. You know, it's kind of like a podcast in a way. I started the Bumpy Podcast. I have one episode out there. It has eleven views. I'm not sure how I want to continue that podcast, but this is kind of like a podcast in itself because the target audience knows the grind that I'm going through right now of, of this fishing thing and but just it gives me an opportunity to kind of talk about you know me and what I'm going through in life and let's go another epic fish huge huge um so yeah I'm, I'm encouraged that I just have the opportunity to just have some free time to make videos. And like I said, this is kind of like a podcast because it's just me fishing. I mean, I'm not doing anything special here. We're just literally fishing the entire video. And we'll see. Like I said, if you're still watching this video, like up to now, it's been like 20 minutes or something like that around there. Like, I appreciate you because the watch time is really helpful. I would love to stay monetized on this channel. So if you're inclined to watch these videos to the end, I mean, I really appreciate it. It really does go a long way. And um, yeah, so thank you. I really appreciate your support. So, you know, with, with a podcast, there's typically like um, a list of topics like to discuss. There's typically like, okay, there there's like things topics of discussion so that I don't run out of things to talk about. So I'm kind of thinking like, okay, what have I done in the past week that I could talk about? Um, so yeah, basically I went to Italy. This is a topic that I can talk about. I went to Italy um, for about four days and um, Italy was good. You know, I'm, I'm currently in Europe 
currently in, in Europe. And Italy was cool. I went to the, the island part of Italy called Sicily. And yeah, it was interesting. We, uh, I did a food tour. My family was there. Um, we did a food tour together. Got to try some Sicilian foods. So that was cool. Um, the food tour guide was really nice. She, um, she tried her best. I don't think the tour was that great, but it was still fun. And, you know, um, the, the biggest question was, do we, do we tip, do we tip the tour guide? And, uh, it was, it was a pretty personal tour. So I tipped her 10 euros for about a three hour tour. So that was cool. And I felt good about tipping. Like, I feel like I would have felt bad if I didn't tip. So it's like, I'm glad I did. Because we were kind of debating, like, like, does she deserve a tip? Was the tour good enough to deserve a tip? And it's like, either way, we could see the effort that she was putting in. And we came to the conclusion that tipping was the right thing to do. And, yeah. So... We tipped. It felt good to give. Um, and yeah, speaking of giving, I went to church this past Sunday. Uh, and I also tithed there. I don't want to, I'm not saying this to brag or anything. I'm just, like, we were on the giving subject. And I just want to say, like, it feels good to give. It does. It feels good to give. In fact, the Bible talks about how when you give, it it affects the the giver more than it does the receiver more. Like it, it affects the giver more um, because it just feels good to give, knowing that you're making a difference in somebody else's life. Uh, it's just it's really cool. It's a really cool concept. Really cool thing. So yeah, that was cool. So yeah, I went to Italy for four days. The food tour was like the biggest thing we did. Uh, we were in like not a super popular like city in Sicily. So like there wasn't too much to do, but it was more about just spending time with family. So that was cool. And yeah. In terms of other stuff that's happening, I don't, I don't know. This is tough, man. I mean, I've been, I've been talking for like close to a half hour, I think, maybe like 25 minutes or so, but we have 18 out of 30 fish. Can I go the full length, guys? Is it, is it going to be possible? I just don't know. Might have to break it into two parts here, guys. This is, this is taking a long time. And I, I knew it would take a while, so I don't know why I said that I'd be able to fit all of the fishing into this one video. And plus, I want to make sure that the recording file actually does save and it doesn't get corrupted because I'm recording on my laptop here. And I don't know if my laptop is capable of recording for an hour at a time. So I, I just don't know. So I might wrap it up here and I might do the rest of the fishing on my own. I'm not really sure to be honest. But what I do know is I'm really excited for W Ward. There's gonna be a lot of fun quests. Well a lot of quests that take a while. And I have coffee here. I forgot to drink this. Coffee and milk. Man that's good. That's some good stuff. Um I could use the, the fish frenzy to finish off this video. And let, let's do it. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell my fish. And let's use, let's see, I think if I go to claim, it's in here somewhere. Other, yeah, frenzy totem. There we go. 
I wish I had like 10 of these. That would be very helpful. Um, yeah, so here we go. Let's go ahead and use this after I catch one more fish. And we are going to go see if we can get some epics. Here we go. Boom. We're off and out of here. Boom. Yeah, this is where it gets exciting. Fish just, like, go a lot faster. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm still not sure how nets work. If, if you're watching this video, can you explain how nets work? Because it says that I'm catching common fishes, but I... Like I already, I can see that. I can see that I'm catching a common fish or a rare fish, and I just caught a legendary fish. That's exciting. Um, that's cool. Um, but yeah, if someone could like explain in detail how nets work in the comments, I would like, I would love that. I, I do read every comment. I don't get many, but I do, I do read them all. So, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, nets, I mean, it just seems like I'm, like, it, it's like a virtual fish that I'm catching. I, I don't really know. It, it's like I'm catching a fish, but, you know, I, I just, I don't know. But we have 50 seconds left on this totem, and we have not caught a single. Oh, we just got one. That's huge. That's huge. You know, I had, there were two 15-minute frenzies. We just got another one. We're at 20 out of 30. That's huge. It's great to see. Uh, we just got another one. Wow. That's actually sick. Um, we've gotten three epics from this totem. We're actually closer than I thought. Well, we, we still have nine to go, but it's encouraging seeing that I got three. Because, you know, yeah, but anyway, yeah, so we got three, and we got basically a full inventory of fish, we got a prison key out of that as well, so that's cool, I mean, I, I could keep fishing, I mean, I, I made, I made a promise, guys, to, to, to fish to the end. But yeah, there was two 15-minute fishing frenzies yesterday. You know, those would help a lot right now. But it's okay. We're going to get through it. We just need to keep fishing and grind this out. But, I mean, yeah, in terms of stuff to talk about, I mean, there's other topics I could go into, but I feel like it's just kind of dragging on at this point. So with that being said, I think I'm going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, we're going to catch this last fish, one more fish. And if we, get, if we get an epic, if we get anything but a common fish, I will keep going. I will feel inclined to keep going. But if we get a common fish, we're going to wrap it up. We got an epic fish. We're continuing. We are continuing, guys. That is a sign. All right. We are going. All right. We, we must continue. We have parkour in five minutes, too. Like, dude, that's where it's at, bro. I love parkour. There's some good parkour people on this server, though. I will say. It is tough. But, you know, there's people who have prestiged 25 times. Like, that is insane. Like, that's congratulations. Like, that's wild. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're, we're getting there. I'm excited to prestige. It's getting kind of cold in my room. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting the chills, man. Oh. Oh. I can check my nets and see if I've caught any nets that I haven't seen. I've got two common nets as of now. Um, need to see if I have any nets. Let's see. Sell nets. Equip nets. Back. I think they're in the claim process. Fishing. We have a basic net. Uh, I missed the fish. Yeah, we, we got a basic net. That's, oh, we got a rare net. I didn't know we had that. That's sick. Glad we checked. That's huge. 
Let's see, nets, equip nets, let's de-equip that one. We have a rare one now. All right, all right. That's that's good. That's that's good. I'm glad we have a rare net. Um so yeah, that's that's actually sick. I'm glad I checked. Hopefully that can help us a little bit get to our goal. You know, I said that we were gonna go to the end. I said that a lot throughout this video, but I mean I made a pact with my with my fish. I was like, hey, I was like, hey, you know, like if my next fish is not common and it happened to be an epic fish too. So that's cool. Like we, we are continuing. We are continuing. Forest? No. Honest? No. Um, invest. That's, that's a word. Yes. <clears throat> Anyone selling a frenzy totems? I will buy some frenzy totems to speed up this process because fishing, fishing can be tough, man. But yeah, nobody nobody seems to be selling frenzy totems just because they're probably getting used. Um, I don't blame them. I mean, I would use them too because this quest is brutal. Absolutely brutal. I wish I had bait. You know, but bait apparently costs so much. It costs like eight mil from what I've heard or like even more. I don't even know. Like... It's insane. But the parkour will be fun. I'm, I'm happy to do that. But. Yeah, I mean, the rest of this video might just. I don't even know. It's like. What else am I going to talk about? I could talk about what I had for breakfast, and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So it's like, what am I going to talk about there? You know, it's just like first world problems. Like, what am I going to talk about? There is parkour starting soon, though, so that'll be fun. But I will save this common net. Somebody actually gave me this, so I could pass it on to somebody else. But uh, when I do get more net slots, I do want to also have nets. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do this parkour. That'll be exciting. Let's put uh, my stuff away here. Okay. Boom, boom. Parkour, here we go. Oh, this is, this is a good one. This is a really good one. I'm not bad at parkour. Come on, we can do it. 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 Can do it. All right, that was actually not a bad time. That's my personal best. So hopefully we do well, but yeah, um, yeah, we got that parkour done. Let's go back and fish because that is the point. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get this quest done. 22 out of 30 complete. We need more. We need more. We'll see how I did on that parkour. Hopefully I can get my first parkour key. I haven't gotten a single parkour key, a single cough key, a single fishing key. Um, I, I got second place a few times, 
in parkour, but like there's some good parkourers here, man. There's some really good ones. So it's it's tough. It is tough. But, yes, we have work to do. I mean, I made a bet, I, kind of. I was like, dude, like, if I, if I don't get a common, I'll continue this video. I didn't say for how long, but, man, you know, there's only so much I can talk about. You know what I'm saying? There's only so much I can talk about. So, I don't know. What should I talk about, guys? Should I talk about Bumpy Plays? How did I get my skin? How did I get my, my Bumpy Plays skin? Somebody made it for me about eight years ago. Like, it's been so long. Somebody made this skin for me. I've kept it ever since. It's pretty cool. I'm a fan of my skin. So. We got an epic. We are seven away. We are seven away, folks. We are seven away. I was trying to get another fishing rod because I, I need a, another fishing rod because I've repaired this one many times, but um, I need to, I could go for an airdrop. That would be kind of fun, right? That would be kind of fun. Let's do it. We need to spice things up here. Okay, put that in there. We'll take one pork chop. Armor needs to go away. Spawn, here we go. We have nothing on me. Uh, one of the quests is to get enchant crates. That's one of the quests I need. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how many people go for airdrops nowadays. I really don't know. But we need enchant crates for a quest. I was planning to skip the quest. I don't, I don't know what these are. Basics? Those are basics. Okay. I've, I've, like, this is my first time going for an airdrop. Or, like, my second time. I, I don't go for airdrops. And it seems like nobody else is at this time either. But I will gladly take everything. Five seconds. We got, oh, we got some actual contraband. That's cool. Yeah, so it, the, the crates seem to be randomized, so that's interesting. Uh, what do I not need? Oh, darn it. Well, I'm gonna risk my pork chops. I'm going to risk my pork chops, brother. Like, we technically need enchant crates. There we go, got one. But... Bottles of XP, not anything useful. That was the last one, wasn't it? Or is there one below? Is there some below? I'm not sure. I don't even know what this is. I've never been down here before. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more crates, guys. But it, it didn't it didn't say that it was over. Here we go. Oh, okay. Well, we just got some keys. Crate key. Beautiful. Okay. That's my first time like ever going for an airdrop. Like ever. I I need to put these away. Uh I, I do, but I can't. All right, screw it. We're going to put on some armor. Don't need this armor.
it's ongoing. Like it's it's still going. What is this? Black market, that's good to know. This is like ultimate exploring time. I can barely see. It hasn't said that all the crates are taken either. I guess there's some up here. tokens this is like really good exploring nobody's contesting but let's see all the crates have been secured is not a thing it has not said that all the crates have been secured I'm, I'm really curious oh here we go Well, we got another enchant crane. If I don't have to skip the quest, I won't, but I might. But all the crates still have not been secured. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out like where, where are the crates? Here we go. Basic crate. All airdrop crates have been secured. Well, that's cool. Um, we got like seven crates. That's pretty nifty. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, you know, this was a good break from fishing. So we got a few things here. I'm not going to put that in my cell. I, I don't know. I've gotten like two guard checks. So I'm going to keep this in my ender chest. You know? Because why not? Um, I need to... Let's see. Let's put my armor back on. Keys. I don't know what to do with my mining keys. I need to figure that out. Uh, okay. Well, let's go to here i don't know why i just did slash spawn it's exciting but you know, let's check out my cell we've been smelting a ton of stuff we have about a million in you know actually we're gonna see if did i win the parkour or that is the question i probably got second i'm gonna guess second fifth man people zoom on that parkour that's wild that is wild, my friend. I mean, I thought I did pretty good, but I did not. People are zooming, bro. They are zooming. Um, okay, let's put that in here. I have a ton of XP bottles I need to use. Um, we've been smelting stuff. My coal supply is pretty cool. We, we do have some good coal. I do have also... 267 mine crates. I just don't open those. I just save them for quests. I'm not sure if any more quests will involve those, but I've been saving those. So that's been cool. Mining key, we're going to put that away in the ender chest. What I want to do though is I need to enchant some more fishing rods. I just do. So. What I want to do is pull these levers. 55, if I can get up to 90, that'd be sick, but I cannot. Okay. Let's see, let's put this away. Let's see. 
Where's that key at? Where put that key? There we go. Okay. Yeah, I have a lot of fishing rods, but none of them have lure on them. So, like, you see the dilemma. We have some good mining keys, 15 of them. Prison key, that's cool. Let's see how many keys we got. Two prison keys, and that's it. Yeah, let's go ahead and go enchant. See if I can get lure on some rods here. Because my rod... Oh, that's not the right thing. Yeah, that's the thing about being... Um, yeah, being a no rank. I just don't have any teleportation... Um, like, opportunities. or I just don't have any anything like that so uh luck of the sea i don't want luck of the sea unbreaking three i'd rather not luck of the sea i'd rather not but let's roll with it yep that's unfortunate we can just get rid of that lure two that's actually great that's great all right cool all right, Dan, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Phew. Cool. All right. So I can actually make a, a lure three rod now, which is nice. I need to do that because it's essential. It's essential if we want. Like, I just need another rod, so. GG, somebody purchased MVP. All right, so where's my fishing rod? Lure two, lure two, unbreaking three. Awesome, awesome. And now we can get some XP bottles out here and, and party. All right, lure two. Three. All right, so then seven more levels. Perfect. Awesome. That's great. Perfect. Let's go to spawn. Great. So we have a rod, a backup one now. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and. Go to fishing. We still have eight more fish that we need to get. I made a pact. I made a pact. We must get through this. We must. It was interesting how nobody went for that airdrop. That was really weird. It was really odd. <laughs> See, it says I caught a rare fish, but then it says I caught a common cod. It's like, what does that mean? <laughs> so confused. So confused, man. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do this again. If I catch anything besides a common, I will continue fishing in this video. If I catch a common fish, I will end the video. All right, we caught a common fish. Looks like that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun recording this. Uh, if you enjoyed, be sure to smash the like button, leave a comment down below, and also just, yeah, I appreciate you watching this far. I really do appreciate it. We just caught a, an epic fish. That's insane. We need six more. 
Man, we're, we're kind of close, though. <laughs> That's funny. But, yeah, I, I don't think I can continue here. So, yeah. With that being said, guys, it's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And with that being said, guys, that is going to wrap it up. We're going to finish with this last fish here. And we got a common. Perfect. We have six more to go. I'll probably do these off camera. Not sure, though. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.